This year marks the 20th year for the Sportsman Banquet at the Salina Baptist Temple, and we're joined by Josh Clayton to my left and Cliff Rice down at the end, a couple guys who have been involved all 20 years of this banquet and growing up as the pastor's son. Well, what do you remember about this banquet? Yeah, well, I remember the first year it started. We actually had it in our church gymnasium, and uh, it was kind of the idea of our the, the youth pastor at the time. Okay. And I uh, wanted to put this together, something for, you know, it would be popular in our area, yeah. in our community, and, and, and something that the guys would like. And uh, so, of course, the first one was, it was small, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but we had a good time, and, and it just, it grew from there. Really, really caught on. The, the people really liked it. And, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's grown and grown. Of course, I had to move facilities, and, yeah. and now up to two sessions. And, and uh, yeah, so it's, it, it's been a lot of fun. Of course, just as a kid, you know, during the, uh, during the first one, and uh, more just there to uh, uh, to have a good time, right. but now you know now it's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite as fun, but right. it is still fun. It is, it is. Yeah. How about you, Cliff? What do you enjoy about this this event? Well, I enjoy the event. Uh, we get to meet a lot of different people. Yeah, as one thing, and then uh, uh, sometimes uh, just in our uh, the things that we do before the banquet takes place. The, we have an opportunity to meet a lot of people and to uh, get some uh, uh, some advice and also some uh, some help in, in doing it. Sure. Uh, we could not do the event if it wasn't for you know people outside, inside the church and even outside the church. Yeah. So uh, and that's what I enjoy about it is mostly just meeting new people and t and talking to them and and uh, having a good time with them. Pretty cool to see a community come together, and they're doing this February the 25th, the Sportsman Banquet. Uh, proceeds go to help send kids to summer camp up on Lake Houghton in Michigan. And, and Josh, let's talk about the speaker first. Uh, Keith Gomez's his name on the pro staff of Bowtech Archery. Sure. What do you know about this guy? Sure. Actually, uh, uh, Keith Gomez is a pastor in Elgin, Illinois, awesome. and been up there uh, over 20 years. And uh, excellent, uh, excellent man, great speaker. Uh, but besides being a pastor, of course, he's an avid hunter. Yeah. And uh, uh, this man kills more trophies. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Is he going to bring and, some uh, with him? I think he probably Fantastic. will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, killing trophies every year. And of course, yeah, on the pro staff of, uh, of uh, Bowtech Archery, Grim Reaper Broadheads, Black Gold Bow Sights. Mm. Um, you know, harvested one of the largest collections of Pope and Young Bucks in the nation. Wow. So uh, uh, this guy gets after it. But uh, very entertaining speaker, uh, you know, personable, funny, uh, a good guy. So, yeah, we're looking forward to having him. Will he be at both sessions or just one of the he two? He will be at both sessions. Okay. Yep. And people do yep. need a ticket. If they want to go to both, they would need to buy two tickets. Is two that correct? Two separate tickets. That's correct. Okay. So yep. the session times... Uh, doors open at 10 a.m. for the early session, the free meals at noon, and then the evening session doors open at 4 uh, with the meal at 6. And speaking of that, free wild game dinner. I was in Alaska, and, and I got to participate in one of these you know, free wild game dinners. I had bear chili, which yeah. was very interesting. Uh, what, what are some of your favorites on the menu that you've had over the years, Cliff? Well, one of the I don't know if it would be the favorite, but we had some. <laughs> the most uh, unique, one, maybe. One time we had some uh, alligator. We okay. had that, and uh, a lot of people liked that. And uh, it wasn't all that bad as far as I'm concerned, but most of the people liked it because uh, a lot of people said it tasted like chicken. Oh, really? <laughs> and, you know, different people have different tastes about it. But um, some, of the, uh, some of the other items that we do, um, one time we had uh, African lion. Oh wow! And uh, that went uh, went over real good. Okay. We just didn't have enough. It's hard to feed, uh, you know, 800 people <laughs> and satisfy everybody with uh, with one dish. Yeah. That's the reason we have a variety. And um, my uh, my expertise is uh, the squirrel and dumplings. Oh wow! Yeah, you know, I make that myself. Okay. Yeah. And so then uh, this year. We're having, uh, uh, as you mentioned, bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we haven't decided exactly what we're going to put it into. Okay. But, <laughs> but we're going like to be having idea. black bear. The this chi chili is a safe way to go because <laughs> yeah. everyone likes chili, right? Right. <laughs> right. Like a great idea. Some great door prizes as well. Why don't you highlight some of those things, Josh? Yeah, we've got uh, you know, being the 20th year, we want to to do it bigger than better than than we ever have. So yeah. we've got more door prizes this year than we've ever had, awesome. and uh, we've uh, people have really worked hard. 
uh, to pick those up, and, and a lot of folks have been generous in, in giving donations. And so, um, and as we were talking about, Brother Cliff and I, on the way up here, that one door prize this year is about enough to cover the cost of a ticket, oh, wow. uh, the, the value of them. So, yeah, uh, yeah we're excited about uh, the, the different things we've got. I think we said we have, what, about 100 per session, 120, something like that per session. So uh, it's about a one in four chance of, of winning a door prize wow. right now. Wow, that's so, a good yeah, we're, we're excited about it, yeah. So yeah. this is, if you're a hunter, if you're an outdoorsman, you're going to want to be here on oh, February 25th. Absolutely. This All right. Well, spot. Thanks for just dropping by, guys. Tickets for either session available at a number of Mercer County locations. You can get more information by calling one of the numbers on your screen or by visiting salinabaptisttemple.org.